Good evening. We're here with uh, Vladimir Kosak, the cousin of President Vladimir Putin. From Russia. We're in an undisclosed location uh, due to some death threats that he's received since last week's video. So we appreciate your willingness to once again uh, meet with us. Uh, Vladimir. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Thank I'm you. Vladimir. It's, it's, it's good for, for you to join us. Thank you for being here. We understand this is a very stressful situation. Yes. Very stress. Full of stress. You look like you're full of stress. <clears throat> so how has life been since you've been here in the United States? Uh, the vodka is good. Yes. Um, you like yes. vodka? Yes, I... Uh, do you have any more of the, the Tito's vodka? Yes, um, yes, of course. Oh, thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you, yes. Last time I did not think this was very tasty, but... It smells like a... <laughs> smells like a... Cat fight. <laughs> a dog. It's hard to get... Uh... Good studios when we're in, in these uh, special circumstances. <sighs> so yes, tell... now I feel a little better. Good, good. Thank you. So, uh, can you tell us, what do you miss uh, most of, about your homeland? Uh, about my homeland, I miss uh, not only... <laughs> I miss uh, the women here in America or... Not the same as the women in my country. They are—they uh, have no hair. They look like twelve-year-old boy. The women in uh, Moscow have full back and chest hair. I like to shave their back for them once a week. It is what I like here. Women are too smooth, silky smooth looking. So, you, so you like a woman with more, uh, more hair. More hair on the front. Yes, hair, hair on the back. And it's almost like a fur coat. I like to connect, collect my wife's back hairs and make sweater for my children. Yes, I can see where that could come in handy. <clears throat> uh, can you tell us who you might miss most back in your homeland? Who I might miss most? Eh, probably my uncle. He calls himself the Russian Hammer on YouTube. You should check him out. He is a very strong guy. He once punched a man in his face and sent him back in time ten seconds. Oh, the Russian hammer. Yes, I think I think I've seen that video. Interesting. So uh, you're related to him? Yes, yes. He is my uncle. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Anyone else that you miss, or just just him? Um. Well, not that I miss, but I do remember that I f left my son locked in the cage before I left. I'm hoping he survive when I get back. I left him a pitcher of vodka and uh, a can of corn and... Uh, so you were mentioning something about your, your son. You left him with some uh, corn and, or a picture of corn. Yes, uh, I have to lock him in the cage because he is... Uh, He's a retard. Oh, uh, I see. We keep him in the cages. Um, if he gets out, he can uh, pee or poop on the floor. Ooh. And uh, my wife can never pick it up. It'll stay there for two to three weeks. Oh. And it's a hassle. I don't like to walk in the morning in my socks, right out of bed, going to get my first drink of vodka and yeah. slip on the on the floor. Oh. It's sticky. <coughs> So you received some death threats, and we're, we're assuming that's from uh, President Putin. Why do you think he's trying to kill you? First of all, I laugh in the face of death and danger. Wow. Nothing can kill me but besides silver bullets. Wow. And my cousin Vladimir, who tries to rock my name, oh. cannot get his hand on these. Those are bold words. <clears throat> Is he out to get you for a certain reason? Is he jealous of you, or...? Worried of what you might say? The last interview I mentioned his mermaid tattoo. He is very, very embarrassed and self-conscious about the tattoo. Uh, People were laughing at him, calling him a girly tattoo. Uh, and he did not like this. He thinks mermaid is very fierce creature. I see, I see. 
see. <clears throat> Can you tell us why you left Russia? Why are you here in the United States? In Russia, all I did every day was sit on the couch and watch the same channel of television and drink the vodka. I come here, you guys offered me some money to talk to the screen. Oh, and great. that is about it. I need more money for the vodka. <clears throat> And how have you been spending your time since you've been here? What was the question? How have you been spending your time since you've been here in the United States? What have you been doing? Uh, well, most of the time, the, the weeks blur into days. I drink so much vodka, I cannot really remember the past three years of my life. It is very wishy-washy, but I do remember staring at the sun for over an hour and then realizing this is not good for my eyesight. Huh. Is that why you're wearing the sunglasses? Yes, that is exactly why. If anything touches my eyes like fresh air or a breeze, they will bleed. Oh, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Well, thank you very much, uh, Vladimir, for this uh, second week interview. And I understand this network is definitely considering giving you your own uh, vlogs. And, and how do you feel about that? I think it would be very nice to be uh, hosting my own show on the internet. I can talk about all the things I like, like vodka and back hair and eating fried cat legs. Wow. That's so, sounds very please good. tune in. Very promising. All right, we'll look, we'll look forward to that. Thank you very much, and see you next week. Okay.